Okay, I've been wanting to make this video for quite a while, but I've never got around to it because uh, my house is a mess and I've been embarrassed. But I've been putting it off for long enough, so let's just go. Uh, we're getting just we're going to just uh, walk through the door and take a look at all the recycled, uh, trash picked, uh, flea market, random, free or cheap things uh, that I own and use in everyday life. Uh, just to really have a look, because frankly, it's basically everything. So, let's start. Uh, here's my uh, Grundig uh, Satellite 6600 radio uh, that came out of a trash. Uh, there was nothing wrong with it. Uh, there's not really that much stuff here, but here we have a perfectly serviceable space heater uh, straight out of a trash. was nothing wrong with that either. Uh, in the bathroom, I have a laptop. It's rather old, very old, uh, but I use that to browse Wikipedia while I uh, take a crap, and it's uh, absolutely wonderful. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, was free, out of a trash. Toilet came with a house, 1976. Uh, so, moving into the kitchen. Now here are two uh, light fixtures, uh, three times 36 watts uh, T5s. From about 2008, uh, I got about uh, 10 of these uh, when a bank was replacing the light fixtures and going for LEDs. Uh, there's nothing wrong with any of them except that uh, some of the tubes are a bit worn out. Uh, but these are about uh, 400 euro fixtures. Uh, when they were new, so I just uh, snagged as many as I could. I use them over here and there, they're lovely. And next to that on the table, we have a Grundig radio, a very nice model, a satellite recorder 4000, bought that for five euros. Uh, to the left of that, uh, this little tablet PC, uh, got it for free uh, from a customer who didn't want to have it fixed. The only thing wrong with it was that uh, uh, the battery had gotten over discharged because it wasn't used. Uh, so I just charged the battery up and uh, put it back in service. It's now my solar panel battery monitor. Works beautiful. Uh, next to that, we have a laptop. This thing was uh, brand new, but it had some weirdness. Uh, so it had gotten thrown away. Uh, it actually was completed at one point, but uh, a few months later, the screen broke and I just made it headless. Uh, this is some fancy uh, AirPlay speaker thing. I don't remember the brand. Audio Pro, I think. This thing was ridiculous. It uh, retailed for about... Uh, 800 euros, it's about six years old, and I just picked it out of a trash and there was nothing wrong with it. I don't know why. If it's a Fujitsu 24 inch monitor with an integrated light sensor, it's some call center type thing. Uh, nothing wrong with that either. I took it apart when I got it, but uh, yeah, it, it, it just works. Uh, so, grand total price of all that tech is. Uh, Five euros for the radio, I suppose. Uh, that's my microwave, which is uh, taken apart right now because a belt snapped in it. Uh, I paid 20 euros for that with a bad magnetron, maybe five euros for a replacement magnetron. Uh, that's just been working fine. Uh, dishwasher's actually new. Coffee maker's also new. Oh yeah, the fridge. Uh, my old fridge died. And uh, I just went to the local fridge sales place, went behind, asked, hey, do you mind if I take this? And I took it, brought it home, it works fine. It was full of mold and stuff. I cleaned it out properly. And it's very nice and clean inside. Been working well for a year now. Freezer, got above the house. It's probably gonna get replaced by another trash pick soon enough. Uh, moving on to the uh, office. Uh, I have a Roomba. Uh, it's out of commission right now because it decapitated itself. Uh, but uh, this was also a trash pick. Uh, I don't remember where from, uh, but it uh, was just really worn down. Uh, someone had been using it with animals, uh, so it was just all the brushes were shot. It was dirty and nasty. I stripped it completely, ran all the plastic stuff from a dishwasher, uh, replaced all the expendables, and total price was, I don't know, 20 euros for new brushes plus a couple of hours of time. I uh, did a DIY battery for it, so it's actually got a lithium even though it's an old machine. So that's more or less a free Roomba. CRT TV, obviously free. 
Uh, my spare gaming thing for people who come over, complete with Euro Shopper energy drink. Oh yes. Uh, this is a BenQ 2411. Uh, XL 2411 144Hz uh, gaming screen. Uh, I got this thing, it, it's old, it's from tw 2012 by now, uh, but I got it in, it's something like five or six years ago. It's It was rather new when I got it, it had burned a hole through the, oh no, actually I got it without uh, the logic board and power supply, so I built my own power supply for it, uh, and then I, I got my hand on the logic board somehow. Uh, but uh, I've since gotten another one with a bad panel, so this thing is actually completely, completely in working order, perfect condition, and uh, completely free. Didn't pay a cent for that. And that's a Korea monitor I bought in 2013, uh, 300 euros. Uh, these speakers, uh, trash picked. This amplifier I actually bought, 20 euros. Uh, this PC, some like fourth gen Intel thing. A friend just kind of left it here. Uh, my main desk. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, so we have my PC. It's it's rather old, but I have no use for anything. US third gen i7. Pretty much the only thing I bought new for it was fans and a graphics card. Everything else is uh, trash picture 3770. Got that yeah, when it was pretty worthless. But total price of that PC is like the price of a graphics card, basically. Uh, UPS, free. DVD burner, free. Those are two outdoors uh, clip speakers. They had blown tweeters. I picked them out of the trash. Completely free. Uh, I bought those uh, vintage Sony cool metal speakers for like 20 euros from my boss. Uh, that's one of those uh, light fixtures I got for free. Uh, in the ceiling we have soundproofing, which is made out of uh, recycled uh, bags from the local liquor store. Uh, I got them with the house and I figured might as well put them to use. Uh, that monitor is actually new because I needed a good video editing monitor. Uh, this 22 inch BenQ GW2255 or something, uh, free out of the trash. It had something wrong with the power supply, fixed it, works fine. Uh, paid a bunch for that uh, fancy JVC thing, which is rare and stuff. Paid 180 euros for that Luxman amplifier. Uh, recycled, of course, it's an 80s unit. Uh, back here we have a 2016 Dell, uh, headless. Uh, someone had destroyed it and it was thrown out. Computer part works perfectly. It's hooked up to that monitor. I use it every day. Uh, Philips 541 MFB speakers, out of the trash uh, since then. Uh, refurbished, uh, completely restored, but again, they were in working order when I got them. Uh, this camera, rather old, com straight out of the trash. Didn't pay a cent for it, including a very nice 60mm macro lens. They still sell those. Uh, printer, HP, something, something, color, laser, scanning, document feeder thing. Uh, it was out of the trash, it's got Wi-Fi, it was free. Uh, this is recycled office furniture. I did not pay a cent for that. Just clean it up, put it to use. Uh, the actual table here, uh, 30 euros used. Uh, this table here, completely free. Uh, recycled that from uh, an office uh, uh, place. Uh, not gonna get into that. Uh, workshop, workshop, workshop. Uh, here we have a uh, Sony TA-N80ES, the amplifier in the back there. Uh, it was trashed, it's fixed. Waiting for reassembly, uh, free. 24-inch uh, monitor from Stone Age, free. Uh, those monitors there, free, out of the trash. One of them was broken, the other one just kind of worked. Uh, not gonna get into that. Uh, old trashy speakers, free. Oh yeah, this welder soldering thing was free, someone was uh, throwing an eight and I just uh, grabbed it. Good, nice spare spare iron. Uh, this PC, uh, seventh gen uh, Core i5 or something. Processor was free, RAM was free. Uh, I bought the motherboard for it and that's basically all that all that's in it. Recycled some trash picked fans for it, so total price for that PC is my streaming rig. Uh, 
120 euros plus the capture card. UPS was also free. Did pay for my soldering gear. A 42 inch touchscreen monitor. Uh, someone was throwing that out because it, the internal PC wasn't working, so that was free. Another 24 inch monitor, free. Someone was throwing it out. Probably had a power supply failure. Uh, this uh, ancient uh, multimeter was free. My TTI EX752M was free, though it was very exploded. A uh, Rigel scope, that was also free from a friend because the buttons just kind of go bad and the encoders go bad, so you have to do a bunch of service on them to get them back into spec. But hey, it's a free scope. Uh, model N2 keyboard, it's got the IBM feel, free, out of the trash. Uh, this fancy ergo slider mouse, also free. Uh, someone was throwing out surplus of those. These are like over 100 euros and it was brand new. Don't mind that. Uh, analog scope, free. HP 339A, free. Uh, Pioneer A335 amplifier with rainbow dash on it, free. Uh, this tuner was uh, 7 euros at the local charity shop. Speaker switch, free. Uh, power resistor DIY, but the big case thing was free. Uh, test speakers up there, nice Sony things. I paid, I think, 10 euros on the charity shop for those. Uh, all the shelving is made up of uh, rather worn out and not very good condition uh, recycled uh, office furniture, so it's going to be like old desks and stuff. I did buy the mains new, but uh, all the uh, like actual shelves themselves are just uh, recycled office furniture that I got for free and uh, cut to pieces uh, as they fit. Uh, this entire row of PCs was nice until this shelf came down and all of them got crashed. Uh, but it's like uh, third and fourth gen i5s and i7s, i all of them. They're decent, not worth a lot, but lots of uh, use in them. I've had most of those for years, like they just can kind of get moved around everywhere, but now they've suffered basically a car crash, so they're rather trash. But yeah, bunch of free PCs. Nothing wrong with them, they were just being retired for age. Uh, this uh, store, uh, store, store shelving uh, I got for free. Uh, a local supermarket was upgrading something in the cold room, I think. They just had a giant container of this stuff. Thrown out, I asked, hey, do you mind if I, you know, fill my van up? And yeah, the guy with a cigarette said, yeah, go ahead. Less trouble for me. So I just took all of it. Have a bunch more. Uh paid for the big JBLs. What more? Oh yeah, the desk there. Of course, recycled office furniture. Did not pay a cent for that. Did pay for the uh, IKEA little boxy things because they're good. Oh, we're missing anything. Oh yeah, this chair. You can see what well, that was free. And random computers and crap. All free. Oh yeah, I have a nice uh, Nikon Something, something, uh, macro flash here that I got with that uh, camera over there. Uh, it was free since it came out of a dumpster. Oh uh, yeah, my giant component thing. Some of these old, old racks were free. They were donated by a viewer, actually. Uh, the new racks are paid for, uh, but the entire construction is uh, made up of old uh, shelves, uh, which I got with a house, which were just useless. They used to take up that entire wall, and uh, I had no way of actually using them for anything good, so I turned them into a rolling component cabinet. Uh, yeah, the rest is pretty. Oh yeah, vacuum cleaner, free. Uh, there's some more of the shelving stuff with a bunch of work on it. Let's head on up upstairs into the man lair, where we can see my beautiful ceiling. That's Seen better days. Uh, couch, well, I've had this for like 20 years, but it was still free. Uh, uh, this mess here has my air conditioning, which is just a big fan, which blows out a window. Hmm, nice fan, industrial, uh, expensive new, but it was free. Uh, there are some more of those uh, tables that I have on my main office desk. I, I think, I paid like 100 euros for, for all of these, and they're solid, proper wood. Great deal. Uh, so this is the guest room. 
we have my mini vintage audio collections. We have uh, a Pioneer SX9 uh, 950 receiver, rather rare, expensive. If you sell it, uh, it was exploded when I got it. So I've put a lot of time and effort into restoring that to get it up into good working order. So not really free, but the base unit was free and you, you will not usually get those out of a trash. Uh, Amaranth 2215 or something, free out of a trash. Uh, I think I inherited this turntable, it's not very good, never used it. Akai GX95 cassette deck, I actually bought this used for more than it's worth, like 40 euros, just because it's super high end and I'm ordering a high end uh, cassette deck. Uh, we have more soundproofing in here, which is made up, up of uh, banana boxes and uh, towels from the charity shop. And this is basically the same thing, but uh, with a wooden base. And that's a Barco CRT, free. Nothing wrong with that either. I think that's pretty much all best to see in here. I guess that's just more or less the bedroom, and then I guess the basement left. So this is my bedroom. No one ever gets in here. Do excuse the mess. Uh, here we have like a big exercise machine thing, which I actually do use, believe it or not. Uh, that was free out of a trash. Someone had thrown it away and I was just like, no, and I took it home. It worked perfectly, nothing wrong with it. It was just a bit dirty from sitting out. Uh, JBL LX60 speakers, those guys, I think I paid 40 euros for the pair. They had bad foam, so I had to refoam them. Nice speakers, I like them. Uh, my Luxman gear there, the M120A, uh, big power amplifier, that actually came straight out of a trash. And uh, it was, of course, free and out of focus. Manual focus, please. Uh, the C120A, which is for matching preamp, I uh, traded that for another amplifier, which I picked out of a trash, and a Yamaha AX590. So this was, there was no money spent, really, but I did trade a nice amp for it. But hey, I didn't pay anything for the AX950. I got that for free because someone had not understood how to use a pre out jumpers. Uh, the Audio Engine 2s are free because they have the conductive glue inside, so these are all going to break. It takes a lot of work to clean them up. Uh, Pioneer Kuro uh, 5080 Plasma, 720p, I don't care. Uh, ridiculously expensive when it was new. It was like 8,000 euros, 5,000, something like that. Uh, it had an exploded driver board. 60 euros components, two hours to fix. I love this TV. Better contrast when you get on pretty much anything other than Noblad. Uh, back here we have a kind of matching subwoofer for the audio engines. Uh, it's... Uh, it's a tangent something something. It, it, it's like three, four hundred euros. It's had the conductive glue inside. Someone had thrown it out and uh, I'll fix it. So the total price for all this media stuff, which is a pretty decent setup, if I do say so myself, is going to be like 300 for the sub. No, no, no. Oh, we're not talking recommended sales prices. Free for the subwoofer, nothing for the audio engines, nothing for the either of the vintage amplifiers really, except for some time since I have restored them, just because that's what I do. They did work before that though. Uh, 60 euros for the TV and a couple of hours of work, maybe 100 euros for the speakers, including uh, refoam kits. So what, 300 euros maybe total <laughs> for all that stuff? It's ridiculous. Uh, this heater came out of the trash, it was free. This keyboard, it was out of the trash, it was free. This mouse, out of the trash, it was free. Uh, my little extra PC there, uh, it's also out of the trash, it's a third gen i something something basic office PC. Uh, someone was throwing it out, my clock radio, free out of the trash. Uh, the sound bath of a little TV, out of the trash, the TV for the little TV out of a trash, it was free. Uh, light came with a house. More banana box uh, signed stuff. Uh, here is a completely conspicuous roll of toilet paper. 
uh, a keyboard mechanical with an integrated touchpad free someone was throwing it out uh, this laptop I buy these I love these old HP things I buy these used they're, they're, they're like 300 euros used when I last checked uh, fire extinguisher uh, free was re recycled from a facility they I talked to the inspector I can't have it inspected but he said it's just gonna work so hey rather have nothing have that than nothing I did pay for the chair. It sucks. I want my sofa back. And uh, of course, we'll have a PC running all the media stuff if we can get some lights in here. So, this is uh, going to be another third gen i5 based PC. I've had it for years, many years. It's got a GTX 750, like 8 or 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, I don't think I paid my. I know the CPU was free. Uh, the graphics card I did buy for a PC way back in the day and but like the rest of the RAM was free, the, mod, the motherboard I think I might have bought, bought the motherboard for like another PC way back in the day so the, this is maybe a 200 euro PC, something like that but it's gonna play all the games I want uh, UPS of course, free uh, this Cambridge Audio DAC free it was free, it was out of the trash someone had thrown it away and there's another keyboard, wireless, completely nice, and free. This TV was also free, but this thing is from like 2002. It's not worth considering. I think we can turn your two focus back on. So that leaves us the storage room. This is mostly just going to be a bunch of junk. Uh, but we do have more supermarket shelving, which was, of course, free. Uh, another light fixture. I have these just lying around everywhere. They're so expensive, I just wanted them. Uh, so here we have some stuff that needs service. This is some really fancy audio file, something, something, surround thing. I think it's a Lexicon MC12. It needs every capacitor replaced, but it was out of the trash. It kind of works, but it's super noisy and terrible. Uh, more computer monitors, free, uh, black and white laser printer, works perfectly, someone was throwing it out because it was old, so it was free. More UPSs, old iMac, I don't think I've paid for anything in this room. Uh, nice vintage stereo, uh, free out of the trash, uh, something was probably wrong with it. Uh, this Nico. I think this was like a charity shop thing I bought for a couple of euros. Uh, this subwoofer out of the trash, it had, I think I made a video on fixing that, it had some broken resistor. Uh, old time banging all of some speakers out of the trash. Uh, Tandberg speakers out of the trash. Tandberg speakers out of the trash. Uh, I did pay 80 euros for my Russian oscilloscope there. It's lethal. Uh, Celestion speakers. These were free because they had one blown woofer. Uh, here are some Sony, like surround speakers, really nice. Uh, they were also free out of the trash. I don't know why anyone would throw them away, they work perfectly. And some radio and uh, more. More Grundig satellites and RR1140SL, free out of the trash. Uh, this vintage Japanese boombox, free out of the trash. This Salora. Uh, 2000, free out of the trash. Pioneer SX424, free out of the trash. There's random Technics tape deck, which is never going to work again, free out of the trash. Oop. Optonica, something something, free out of the trash and currently exploded. And random uh, FM transmitter parts underneath that, of course, also free out of the trash. Uh, nothing really of value in there. I think that pretty much sums it up. Oh yeah, here's like a box of random old vintage things, including the most illogical scope meter you've ever seen in your life. Uh, got that for free, of course. Vintage Sigjan, free out of the trash. So let's uh, make the best out of the last uh, five minutes of this recording downstairs and take a quick peek 
at my free and recycled stuff down there as well. If you've been following these solar videos, which I never ever edit, uh, you're gonna know some of this stuff. I have paid for all this duct stuff, which is just a weird experiment. Uh, there's a generator that I inherited, put some time and effort into it, but technically free. Uh, recycled batteries there, for big lead-headed things. And this is a like a recycled analog TV transmitter power supply, 40 amp sets, 12 volts-ish. Free. I got two of those, but did put some work into converting them. Uh, I have a free angle grinder, although I think I might have inherited that. Uh, here's some more recycled office furniture that I made uh, boxes out of. Uh, another UPS just lying around. More recycled office furniture in the shelving there. In this room we have more recycled office furniture for a workbench, more of these lights, which like 400, 800, 1200 euros if I were to buy these new, it's ridiculous. Recycled office furniture shelving. Uh, oh yeah, here's an old Akai radio, I think I bought that from someone for a tiny bit of money. These are two AR6 or AS, AR7 speakers, uh, they were free from the trash because they had failed suspension. I've refurned them, they're fine. There's a bunch of random old servers and crap lying in droves here. And is there anything worth considering here? Uh, you, you're not gonna see anything, there's a bunch of like random tech gibberish. Pile of keyboards and stuff and none of this stuff really, it's worth mentioning. Uh, but of course, we still have uh, my solar stuff. So, there's a decent amount of tech in here. Uh, this uh, heat pump came with a house, but it actually failed, and uh, I've repaired it manually. It's rather modified inside, so in a way this is trash picked, but really I just fixed it myself instead of having someone else do it. Need to clean that crap out. Uh, these are some more old batteries, paid scrap price for them. Uh, this is a 2200 VA APC UPS, uh, this was also free out of the trash, it had gone through like two packs of batteries, so they threw it out. Uh, the big solar batteries, uh, they were... Uh, I bought them for scrap price and I also traded in my old bank, so the total price for all of the batteries in this room was uh, 65 euros. Uh, the box here for all the uh, connected stuff for the, the uh, batteries uh, that was uh, free, recycled and uh, most of the contents as well. So these giant uh, breakers, I recycled those from an analog TV transmitter. Basically everything in here is recycled TV transmitter parts except for the cabling, some of the cabling. Uh, the APs up here uh, they are also free and recycled out of the trash. They usually don't need any attention or repairs, they tend to just work. And uh, this laptop, which is my like solar management server thing, because this stupid green box doesn't have any Ethernet capability, uh, that was also free from the trash. I think it had a smashed up panel, which I replaced with another one from uh, a PC with a smashed up uh, computer. And is that gonna be pretty much it for all my free and recycled shit? I have a giant 48 volt battery charger that would also recycle from an industrial site because it, it, it's 25 years old and not very efficient but hey it works for me. It was gonna get completely thrown away. Hmm yeah. I think that more or less sums it up and the point I want to make with this video is why the hell am I allowed to have this much free shit? Like, this stuff would be on its way to Africa to get burned and torn to pieces had I not intercepted it on the way. That is freaking terrible. But oh well. I guess I come out on top. Cheerio.